Okay, so Ganyu is actually insane. I was wrong. I'm gonna go on record and say I was 100% wrong on what I thought this character was gonna be about. She's not boring. She's not, bro, man, she's not anything that I said she was. She is everything and more. <laughs> I'm gonna just go on record and say that, but let's go ahead and jump into her stats because that's what we're here for. So she's level 70 out of 80. So she is at her fifth ascension, which is pretty important before we go into any detail because um, she gets another critical damage boost. What I have her with right now is her support build. And the greatest thing about Ganyu is in between switching from support to DPS is literally her weapon. Now, obviously this can change between builds for certain, for different people. This is the build that I've chosen. This isn't a end all be all. And another great thing about Ganyu is that there is no end all be all for her. There is no one slot fits all type build. You can build her any way you want and she'll just, she'll just be great. So this is her support build. She's on Favonius Warbo. Um, as simple as switching my weapon to Skyward Harp. Now she's a main DPS. It's kind of crazy. So I'm going to say about 85% of the video that you guys just saw was with the uh, Skyward Harp. Um, literally the last clip with Al Albedo and Zhang Li, that was um, her, her, her support role. So basically she was just providing support damage and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's get on to the artifacts. All right, so as you guys can see, this timepiece is scuffed. I'm, I'm still working on her. It's just like a super casual build, which is kind of crazy because she still does all that damage. So um, she's on Cry she's on Blizzard and, and Gladiator. So I gave her as much attack as I could without the exception of her Sands. Her Sands is on energy recharge and I was trying it and it's a pretty good Sand, but I don't need this much energy recharge. Honestly, if this was attack percent, I could just use Favonius Warbow and use her as my main DPS, which is which is what I'm going to do, which is what I'm striving to do. I just don't have a, a cryo sands for her. But um, yeah, this is the most gimped piece. I guess we'll go here's crit rate. It's all went into all crit damage or cryo cup, uh, mostly crit damage, a little bit of attack, a little bit of HP, but mostly crit damage. I think it rolled in the ones it rolled in a crit damage twice and once in everything else. So not not too bad. Um, if you're looking to build, get you a nice piece, you want to have pieces that have percentages. So if anything has flat on it, you're, you're basically gambling and rolling it. Now, the good thing about this game is that when you roll, you can feed other pieces into, you know, other pieces. So take that how you, how you will. Her feather, 20% crit damage. So she's got a lot, a lot, a lot of crit damage. And, uh, this one rolled into crit damage, but mostly attack. So like I say, you want to have, if you can avoid it, you want to have mostly percentage and uh, she'll she'll do good, she'll do good. See, now this one, it rolled into defense one time and then everything else rolled into crit damage. So I can't, I can't be mad at that. Yeah, I mean, everything else is just pretty stellar besides this. And I think I'm still down. Yeah, I'm still down a level on, on my flower. So this has a chance to roll into either attack or crit damage one more time. Um, super excited about that, but that's cool. She's at C0, so really don't have to re go into her constellations, her talents, um, all sevens, all sevens. As a matter of fact, if you went to all six, she would still do some crazy damage. To get to seven, I went ahead and ascended her for her fifth ascension. So if you ascend her uh, one more time, she doesn't get that that critical buff. I don't think until you get until you hit level 85 and then 90. So ascending her one more time will not boost her crit buff, but her crit damage buff, but it's definitely, it's, it's so worth it. It is so worth it. I do believe if, if I'm not mistaken, Ganyu is the first character to have a, a crit buff ascension. So that's cool, man. That is, oh my God. This character is just, this character is just nice, man. Now, let me see if I go to level up, see, it doesn't have the ascension thing that shows me What's going to get buffed next round? Oh, that sucks. So I got to level up to 80. So what? Anyway, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was what everything adds up to, obviously. So crit rate 57% with the 
This is with the Skyward Harp. She's got 171 crit damage with also with the Skyward Harp. I don't think does that does that actively do crit damage buff or do I have to do anything? Increases hit crit damage by 20%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it actively does. It's it's really this. Yo, this this is really crazy. Crit rate and crit damage increases by twenty percent. Obviously, it can go up higher when you refine it more. That, that's a that's a fat chance on getting those higher refines, but it is what it is. Say for instance, I put on her war bow. Let's see what her stats are looking like now. So yeah, it goes down by literally by twenty percent. So with that, it increases her energy recharge, which I don't need a lot of, mind you, to keep her ult up. Like I say, if I put that attack sands on her, I could definitely turn just regular war bow into a main DPS. It's kind of crazy. So 1200 attack with the war bow, and I didn't catch the, the Skyward Harp attack. So 1.7. So say for instance, I put on an attack sands. She's gonna hit harder. She's gonna hit a lot harder and she's just going to be awesome anyway i think that's it on ganyu i'm definitely going to be st i'm definitely still going to be working on her to get her you know right where i want her unfortunately if i want her to be my main dps which is which is really really the goal i want her to be a main dps but my boy totalia he was my main dps before i switched off the bow and i mean i can eat i can do either or now because once i get that attack sans i'm telling you it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna get up on out of here. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Peace.